Sometimes a bottle cap can change your life. This is the bottle cap that changed mine. My daughter Donna was diagnosed with an aggressive brain tumor at 20 months old. When she was in the thick of her cancer treatment, we were blessed with tremendous support. Our family cooked for us, cleaned for us, laundered for us, and supported us so we could support our girl. And during that time, despite all the help we had, I remember just pining for simple things. I wanted to do the grocery shopping. I wanted to fold our socks the way I wanted to fold our socks and was so embarrassed when someone else had folded my undies. I wanted to do the dishes. It's hard to imagine the simple things you take for granted when your world is turned upside down and inside out. That pining for the ability to just simply run our household by myself always, always made me feel like such an ungrateful jerk. I'm sorry, Grandma. I'm sorry, Papa. I'm sorry, Auntie. One blessed day, I got the chance to do dishes. In the midst of chaos and uncontrollable circumstances, having a task with a beginning, middle, and end feels like pure bliss. It makes sense, you know. The kitchen starts out with crumbs and dirty dishes and coffee rings under mugs left on the counter. But 20 minutes later, the sink is empty, the crumbs are gone, the counters are clear, and the dish rack is full. This is a simple pleasure of life if you can get past the oppression of its constancy. <laughs> so the cap. As I was clearing dishes into that soapy sink years ago, I found an iced tea bottle. I rinsed it out and saw its companion cap, this cap. I noticed there were words on it. It says, even if I knew that tomorrow the world would go to pieces, I would still plant my apple tree. Huh. Then, whoa, followed by wow. The quote is falsely attributed to Martin Luther King Jr. These words were actually spoken by Martin Luther of the Protestant Reformation Luthers. <laughs> 16th century theologian or 20th century civil rights activist. Apparently, Snapple does not sweat the details. <laughs> anyway, when I read those words, I knew that my world would shortly be going to pieces. I knew that my firstborn would die. I knew this intellectually and emotionally. It is crippling to have this knowledge about your child. Just typing that sentence made me burst into tears, leading my son to offer me the toy he was playing with at my feet. He knows full well what his mother's tears are usually about. That knowledge, crippling and brutal as it is, is like all knowledge. It is power. Because of that knowledge, I had the power to say goodbye. Because of that knowledge, I had the power to try and prepare my daughter to die. Because of that knowledge, I had the power to try and prepare myself for my daughter to die. We had the opportunity to plant those apple trees knowing what we were doing. Martin Luther's words are, in essence, all about what I call choosing hope. Despite knowing the end of the world is nigh, people, plant those apple trees, he advises us. Hope for something better, 
a different outcome, eternal salvation, whatever it is that brings you comfort and solace. I am so grateful for the proverbial apple trees we planted. Just two months before Donna died, I wrote of our choices inspired by hope. These are our apple trees. And my latest hope is that these trees will sustain us when our world does go to pieces, that they will feed us and shade us and shelter us from the inevitable storms that will be. And oh, yes, there have been storms, some days stormier than others. Some days the rain falls steadily in our hearts and from our eyes, even though the sun is shining so very brightly outside. But those apple trees have done exactly what I hoped they would do. Choosing hope has and continues to feed us and shade us and shelter us from the storm of grief over losing our dear Donna. Yet those apple trees and the decision to choose hope most meaningfully benefit our beloved son, her little brother. Choosing hope and planting those apple trees both allow us to keep our roots and the memories of our very dear Donna and grow and reach and still produce that sweet, sweet fruit of parenting. Thank you.